What's up guys, it's Roy here. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing the later case cyber edition phone case for my iPhone 14 Pro. Now, if you have an iPhone 14, 14 Plus, or 14 Pro Max, you will be able to get this case as well. I'll put some links down in the description. Cost-wise, you're gonna be looking at 45 bucks or so plus taxes. I pre-ordered this, I think even before I pre-ordered the iPhone 14 Pro itself. I finally got it here today. I've been using it all day and I definitely wanted to knock out this video because I've been getting a lot of people asking me about this phone case. Unfortunately, every time I've reached out to later case, they've always responded very quickly to say, no, we will not send you review units. So hopefully this catches their eye and changes their thinking of me a little bit. So as far as the packaging goes, it looks pretty cool actually. It's different, right? You got a picture of a bunch of different phones here in the later case. Looking at the bottom here, uh, it says later case, the impossibly thin phone case for the 14 Pro, like I said, it's designed in Canada and made with Kevlar. Now flipping over to the back, as you can see, it's a very minimalist look. So it breaks down a little bit about this case. So it's ultra thin, we, always, we all knew that already, it's 0.6 millimeters. It's featherweight, so it's super, super light at 10 grams. It says it's superior texture and it's five times stronger than steel. And then there's a little branding there. Now the way to get this open is you actually flip that down and you're greeted with some more information just like what the back showed. But then you pull this out and it reveals the phone case. And then looking at it here, you kind of have this little soap bar looking thing, but it's a little squishy uh, that the phone case sits in, but obviously it says at later case for Twitter and Instagram. So let's go ahead and close this up, push this to the side, just kind of do that. And let's look at this case here. So it is a very, very thin case. So it's made out of Kevlar, like it said. So it is technically five times stronger than steel. Um, but at the same time, guys, I don't know if I'd want to just go chunk this iPhone 14 Pro up in the air with this on. If you have a review unit that you'd love me to try it out with, I'd be happy to do so. But looking at the actual case, you can see that we have that material all throughout the case. It's completely covered in that Kevlar, but it is just so, so thin. And we do have the later case logo here. So that's kind of the look there. So let's go ahead and grab my Space Black 14 Pro and slap it on. An install could not be any simpler. Uh, it's very, very simple. And there's the look of it. So guys, I really, really like the look of this phone case here. Um, not only just because I've always been a fan of like a carbon fiber look. Um, I'm a big fan of aramid fiber cases. Now with this case, it feels very similar to other aramid fiber style, uh, aramid fiber cases that I've tested over the years. Um, but this has a little bit of a different texture, maybe because it is Kevlar, um, but that's the look of it. I like that it is the thicker pattern here instead of the very slim, thin pattern, but that's the look. I'm a big, big fan of this camera bump here. This looks good right here. I really, really, really like the look of this camera bump because it completely covers the camera bump and only exposes what it needs to expose. Kind of looks like a fidget spinner there as well. Uh, now that I said that, you're not gonna not be able to unsee that. But looking at it, like I said, you can kind of see that it does stick out, but it is, like I said, doing the job, right? It's covering those lenses and if you lay it back down, it's going to protect those lenses. So I do like that whole look there. I'm a big fan of phone cases that do that whole entire cover up of the back. Now looking at the side, you can see obviously we do have a cutout here for the power button, but that air, but that Kevlar case, you know, folds up and around right here. So it all is the same material. Looking at the bottom, we do have a cutout here that once again exposes the uh, lightning port and the speakers. Looking at this side, same thing, right? Got a big old cutout here for the volume up and down and our alert slider. And then once again, another cutout up top. Now looking at it from the top, you can kind of see how that camera bump does stick out just a tad bit. 
Looking at the front, we do have some lips that do go around the screen, so we are gonna get some screen protection a little bit if you do place it face down. And as you can see, it is very, very thin. It does not look like I even have a case on the phone right now, um, but it is temper glass friendly as well. I have a temper glass on, so two thumbs up there. As far as the shake test goes, if I do put it face down, there is no shake at all. If I put it back down, a little bit of a shake, but nothing too crazy, nothing out of the ordinary with a 14 Pro case, um, but just kind of to be expected. Um, so next, let's go ahead and just kind of talk about the weight, right? The, the feather weight, as it says, 10 grams, very lightweight, really like the texture, easy access to the buttons, but it does stick out just a tad bit right here at the bottom. Um, so that is something I've noticed where I just, I like that grip right there. Um, but all the buttons are super easy to get to. The alert slider is super easy to get to. So no complaints at all with that. Now let's go ahead and test the capabilities of the MagSafe charging capabilities. So as you can see there, it is MagSafe charging. So we have no issues at all with that. Uh, as far as the back goes, we do have a pretty strong connection with it being pretty thin, but there is no built-in magnets, unfortunately. So being able to just pull the MagSafe charger away and dangling it, it's not really going to work. And I did try to use this in my car with my MagSafe charger that I have, and it did stay but when I hit a big bump, it did fall down. So the only way that you're really gonna be able to use this case with a MagSafe like kind of charging accessory in your car is if you have a magnet, uh, like a MagSafe ring, like an aftermarket one that you put on it to help with that connection. Because yes, it does work with MagSafe, but it's not going to you know, stick to something like that on a bumpy road. So all in all, guys, for 45 bucks to be able to get a very thin case that looks great like this, I think it's well worth it. Uh, but one thing I want to point out, too, is that it's super easy to take off. And that is a big win, in my opinion, because a lot of these thin cases like this are hard sometimes to get off. So I'm really, really a big fan of that. So if you like this video, guys, then obviously hit that like button and subscribe. Check out the cards over here if you want to see some other of my videos. So be safe, God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.